All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't help me down and pay my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, so I be the first to say I haven't noticed this that much, but if Young and May says it, it's her career. I'll take her word for it. First and foremost, let me acknowledge something real quick. Honey K gang, we out here. What a Pharaoh's at? We grinding for that honey K. Thank y'all for the time, love and support. Y'all know I don't take it for granted. I said that in every video. We on our way to 100K. Young Yeme was doing an interview at the VMAs. That's what people do. They do v interviews on the red carpet. And she was asked about who's her favorite artist right now. And Young Yeme was like, well, I like Cardi B. She was just like, I hate that the blogs keep trying to put us against each other. And I thought about that. And the first time I thought about it, and I think I heard that on the Joe Budden podcast yesterday as well. I hadn't heard anybody put young and may against cardi b for the most part but then i really thought about it and i get i get where young and may is coming from with that that could be a thing but both new artists they're both out of new york i get how that could be a thing right i hadn't heard a lot of that because when i think of young and may and cardi b i think of them as in two totally different lanes when i think of cardi b i think of somebody who's personality driven like don't get me wrong bodak yellow is cool but Nikki at her best had way better bars than Bodak Yellow. I'm not trying to compare the two. And by the way, I've heard the Nikki and Cardi B comparisons as Cardi being a young Nikki more than uh, the Cardi and Young and May comparisons. I think of people. I think people look at Young and May as a guy, and I'm not trying to like make a joke at her or anything like that. I think people look at her as a yes, yeah, she's female, but because she's talking about getting women and cuffing women, she raps like a guy. Like she's she got she's a woman technically, but it's. She's, you know, she's something new to rap. But when I think people, when, when people bring up Cardi B, I think it's personality driven. Like, Bodak Yellow is hard. It's the song of the summer. Don't get me wrong. But we, a lot, one reason why women are really rocking with this song is because they know Cardi B. And they know that she's a regular schmegler girl from the Bronx. That's what she says, right? And she represents, I think a lot of women see themselves in Cardi B, just want to be themselves, not trying to be Hollywood or anything like that. And I think Cardi B's personality makes the record even cooler that she has a hit. And I think that's why people want to get behind it. Young Jim May just came with them bars. And that ooh, ooh is just hard. Like, you can't argue against that. Again, Young Jim May needs another record as well. Both Cardi and Young Jim May have had huge records. Both have controlled summers. Young Jim May last year, now Cardi this year. They both can use a follow-up record. I'm going to be honest about that. Um, but I don't really compare the two. Do you compare the two? I would love to know your opinion on this. Again, when I think Cardi B and Young and May, I don't, see, I don't hear that comparison a lot. But they're both young rappers, technically. But when I think Cardi B, I think somebody who's going to be so much more. And I think she's going to draw that Ja Rule line, right? I'm not comparing her to Ja. But remember how Ja technically is a rapper, but he kind of halfway sung on records at the same time. I think that's what Cardi's going to be more or less. And when I think of Young and May, if she gets it right, I think she could be a rapper. Look, uh, a Joel Santana comes to mind to me. I'm thinking from a rap standpoint, if she continues to flow. I don't know why I just came with those two comparisons. You heard it here first from Mr. Telefero. I compared Cardi B to Ja Rule, and I compared uh, Young and May to Joel Santana. So at least I kept it New York for you. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.